Hey, it's Kate here, and I'm going to share with you some of our chapter book series. Um, but uh, we have a lot of them, so what I thought I would do is just kind of break them up into the ones that need to be read in order, ones that is nice to read in order but not as important, and ones that it, you don't have to really read in order. Um, and I found this information on the Kane Miller site, um, and there's a link you can go to that kind of tells you which books are important to read in order, because um, some of them, it does make a difference, you know, when you're introduced to the characters and what's going on, and, and you definitely need to kind of read them in order. So the first one is the Billy B Mysteries. This is actually the second one. I've sold my first one, so I need to get some more. Um, and so this is um, good for um, ages six to nine. Still has a little bit larger print and maybe some illustrations in the book. Um, another one is um, the Wilnuts. And it has your number on the back. Um, these are great, uh, cool illustrations and words, just fun books to read, but they are good for your readers ages seven to 10. Another one we have our Hey, our I Am Jack, um, and this is the first one in it, and um, it is good for ages eight to 12. So um, more text here for print. And still maybe a few pictures, but it addresses some of the possible like bully issues and issues that they may um, go through um, at this age. Another one is our Impossible, uh, the Impossible Quest series. This is good for ages um, nine to 13. Um, and so it is going to be more for your uh, more a little bit older reader more mature reader, because it may um, have some things that uh, uh, may scare the, the younger readers or something. So definitely a little bit for your older readers, but um, a, a popular series. I have not read it yet, but I, I plan on it, but uh, a popular series. Um, another popular series, of course, is our Conspiracy 365, and it goes from January all the way to December, and you follow the character Cal through the through the different series. And so this one is good for um, ages 10 to 15. So the Conspiracy 365, and along with that, there's three. We have the, the Black Ops series too, and so also for that age group. Then we have um, the last 13, um, and this is good for ages 11 and up. And this uh, goes from uh, number 13. You start with 13 and go all the way down to one. So then we have the Sword of Cormori. It's a thicker book, more print um, for your older readers, also around 14 years old. And also for your 14 year old, we have the Phoenix Files and the Debt. So these, um, these books are good to read in order. Um, books that uh, are good to read in order, but not as necessary, um, is uh, we have Anna Hibiscus. This is the first one. Um, and uh, I like to tell people that this is, a, this is an award winner. Um, and it does still have some pictures on the inside. And it is good for ages five to nine. And, um, you know, kind of takes us with, um, introduces us to Anna Hibiscus and um, her, you know, where she lives and um, she lives in Africa. And so I think it's really neat to learn about other cultures and characters from other cultures as well. Um, then we have our EJ12 Girl Hero series. Um, this was not the first one in this one, but I mean, um, again, it's uh, not as important to read in them in order, but might be kind of nice to read them in order. So um, this book is cool because um, the uh, the girl hero, she kind of solves things. Um, she's kind of a special agent and solves things um, with codes and all. So that's a fun series. Another really popular fun series is the Mythical Ninth Division. This is the first one in this, and I've tried to start, I started to kind of read them too, and so they do have some humor, they have some um, neat characters, and they're also some uh, kind of special agents that try to 
help save the day. So these are really popular um, and they're good for ages seven to 11. Then we have some other books that do not have to be read in any certain order. Um, we have our um, extreme adventure books, even though they do kind of have like a one or whatever on the back of them, they don't necessarily, they're um, different, um, uh, like uh, different ones. This is a crocodile attack, so they don't have to be read in order. We have our pet vet, Jack Russell, and a lot of these also have a number on the back, but they don't, there's not, not necessary to have to read them in order. This is for your younger readers, still some illustrations. Um, and then we have, of course, our Hey Jack and our Billy B. These are going to be for your ages four and up. And um, they have large print. And probably the most of them have like, you know, less than uh, 50 words or less on each page. So, um, and they also address kind of little issues that the, the children this age may go through at school or with their friends and stuff like that. And Billy B and Hey Jack are kind of our friends and they may... Uh, mention each other in, in each other's books. Then this is a standalone, or these are, there's four of these, the Choose Your Ever Afters, and these are really popular with, uh, especially the girls, maybe uh, fourth grade and up or so. So uh, the Choose Your Ever After books. Then there's some, we have some new Kane Miller books, and I'm not sure yet what order they necessarily have to be read in. Um, we have the Lily uh, the elf, and I'm kind of guessing it may not matter what order it's read in. We have police, Fizz, the police dog, it's four of these, and I'm not sure if they have to be really read in order. Uh, Pup Patrol, Farm Rescue, I know that the uh, students love reading about uh, little um, animals and their adventures and what they do in the books. And this one is also very popular, the Ella Diaries. Um, this is not necessarily the first one, and I'm I'm not sure what kind of what order they need to be in, um, but I'm kind of guessing that it it might be good to read the first one, but kind of get the um, you know as she she talks about her in her diary, the her kind of her enemy Peach, and so you know the different diaries talk about what happens with uh, um, how she encounters uh, you know Peach and what might be going, she might be uh, going through. So the, the Ella Diaries is very popular and um, there's, the girls are enjoying those. Then we have the Four Fingered Man and the Clockwork Sparrow. I'm kind of guessing that might be good to read these in order. And then the Star of Del Toro. I think it's great to have another female kind of a um, main character. And so those were the books with the cane on the cane Miller sign. And then, of course, Us Born has their titles. Here we have Sandy Lane Stables, different stories and that. Penny Dreadful has like three stories in one book. And they, um, I don't believe they have to be read in any order. The Pony Craze Princess, Secret Mermaids. Amy, Wild Animal Talker, and the Fairy Ponies. These are all popular ones on the Usborne side. Um, and what I do like to um, be able to show parents, and I think that just as long as children are enjoying what they're reading, that that is great. But I do that I do know that some school systems participate in the AR um, or Accelerated Reader Program, and I like to just you know point out to parents if you look in. Um, the catalog in the little box right there, the R right there, that means that these books are accelerated reader, and if they're within the, the student's uh, reading level that they're supposed to take the test on, I just like to point out that, that we do have some books that are AR readers. So, um, but just as long as the students are reading, that is awesome. All right, have a great day.